Well, hello, shiny, crafty people. Tim Totten here, and welcome back to the channel. You know, today I want to share with you 15 or more really amazing sewing tools and crafting items that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel or at least like this video because it really does help in the algorithm. And uh, Dollar Tree is a fantastic store here in the United States that typically sells things for a dollar or less. And there's all kinds of really great stuff in there. I went in the other day and decided I would look through some things that maybe you would normally think of to be sewing products and things you might use to make crafts. And I thought I would bring to you my ideas here. So let's get started. Number one dish drying mats. They have these $1 dish drying mats and they come in a bunch of different colors and sizes. These are great to either go under your sewing machine so it doesn't bounce around or move, but also you'll notice that they're sized very close to the size of a placemat. And we've got a couple of other videos on this channel where I show you how to take placemats and use them to create things uh, like, um, like uh, closed uh, bags that have like a piece from a, what is it, from a, uh, a, a uh, measuring tape in them, which is really cool. You can also get measuring tapes, by the way, at the Dollar Tree. Um, or you can make like a pad for your your iPad or your other tablet or your sewing, or your, um, your uh, laptop computer. And this is a little, it's very soft. It's got a nice uh, bit to it. It's also absorbent, so you could use this to make other things uh, that we're gonna show you in the future. Uh, Next, you can actually find some really nice, inexpensive towels at Dollar Tree. And uh, another video that I made, uh, which we'll link up to in one of the top parts of this uh, particular part, is how to add some fabric to a towel to make a really sweet and personalized towel for someone. Dollar towels are a great deal, and you can either find them for their bath towel section or their kitchen towel section. The other thing I found at Dollar Tree, which is really sweet, are these great storage boxes. I mean, look, it's got such good room in it. In fact, if you watch another video of mine that's uh, coming out in a couple of days, you'll be able to see how to turn this into a fun pin cushion. Now you can use the box to, to organize things. And of course, I also found this great ball there. This is a foam ball, and I'm gonna use this along with that box to create that pin cushion. Now, other great thing, they have pretty good office supplies and they have sheet protectors and three ring binders and these kind of go together because look sometimes you have those uh you know papers that you download from the internet to how to make different pro different items and you want to store them somewhere well you can now see here in this book i've stored some uh mask templates right there's some mask templates there even an actual acrylic mask template you'll see that and then some fabric a small piece of fabric from a job that i, I did and that i want to hold on to this and i might put the, the pattern with it and then zippers things like i like to put zippers in because they get lost everywhere else and other mask pattern pieces and maybe fabrics from a quilt that you've made and you want to make sure you have some leftover or from a project where you might need a little piece of that fabric later is a great way to do with that. Now, oh, also, this is so cute. This is another thing I found. This is uh, the next item. This is that magnetic pocket with a see-through window. And uh, I'm gonna open this up and show you what it looks like. This is would be a great place to store some of those things you're working on right away or small sundry items. And if you have a metal cabinet near you, you can just magnet that right onto it. And uh, a really great way. And also if your machine is metal, which this machine happens to be, I could, uh, well, it's not going to magnet on there, but you know what? <laughs> if you had a metal cabinet next to you, you could put all your stuff so it's see-through. I think that's really fun. Also, oh my goodness, I found this there. I have no idea. I had never seen this before. This is an over-the-chair storage container, and I'm actually going to take this out and put it on a chair and show you what it looks like. What's so great about this particular uh, item is it comes in several colors. Number one, as you'll see from, from the picture I'm showing right now, but also you can store this right over the back of your sewing chair. Now I'm gonna see if it fits on my chair that I'm in right now, but I'll also show you. So look, you literally just put it right over the back of your chair. And now I can store items that I might wanna get hold of regularly. It also works really great on a kitchen chair. Speaking of hanging things, these over the door hangers are so useful for storing things in maybe a small area. So you have a little sewing room and you need to maximize your storage. These also really, really help and they're only a dollar. Also for storage, 
Did you know the dollar store now has those vacuum storage bags that you literally put your fabric and other items in and then attach a vacuum cleaner hose, suck out all the air, and oh my goodness, it's now stored in like, you know, what's not climate control is not the right word, but it's like sealed, you know, so that you could don't worry about things getting into it and it's gonna stay fresh and it compresses the size down. So if you've got batting and other things that you wanna compress, well, these vacuum storage bags do a great job and just like everything else in the store, they're a dollar or less. One of the things I sometimes find that I need when I'm making projects are little clips and clasps. And if you don't have a place to buy those or you don't buy them in bulk, well, they can get a little expensive to go to the fabric store or other hobby store and buy just one or two. Sometimes they're two, three dollars a piece. But did you know that you can go to the dollar store and buy like a collar for a dog or a cat and it has the clips and D-rings and things already on it. So if you just need one or two, it's a great way to grab them for a few dollars less than if you were going to an actual fabric store where they're gonna sell you that clip for several dollars. You know, I don't buy super glue or really cheap batteries anywhere other than the Dollar Tree. And that's because they are only a dollar there. And so you can usually find decent amounts of glue and tape and things that you don't need super expensive, but you just need to grab one or two of. I never buy a lot of super glue because it always tends to dry out before I can actually end up using it all. So I like the little single pack ones or I like something that only costs me a dollar. And so if it dies before I use it the next time in my junk drawer, well, I know where I can get another one and it only set me back a dollar. This is one of my favorite things. This is a little $1 clip on light. Right, and this is so useful, especially if you're in a darker uh, room, you know, and you're worried about getting light into those last little bit of places. So uh, it's it's adjustable, and it, I'm gonna pull out the thing there. And it's just, I mean, it's a bright light. Look how bright that is. So you can imagine if you could clip that onto your sewing machine somewhere, if you needed extra light, you could hook it somewhere around you. And it really does light up a lot of things. Or if you're working on a hand sewing project, uh, and you're just going to be in maybe these little tiny task lighting. This is so cute. Now, it, it is a clip-on book light, but, I mean, there's so many things you could do with this in places you could just connect this. So I think that's fantastic. One of the things we use in my laser business and elsewhere in my companies is Awesome Cleaner. This is LA's Awesome Cleaner, and the fact that they sell it here for just a dollar is unbelievable because there are several companies that sell products to laser companies like mine and in their catalog this exact same bottle is like four dollars and fifty cents you get concentrated la's awesome cleaner in dollar tree for just a dollar and let me tell you it'll clean just about anything i think this stuff is amazing i always have four or five bottles on hand now in their section with with all the other office supplies they do have binder clips and clips are always wonderful to hook onto things and this is actually a really good deal for a dollar this many binder clips i think it's uh it's 10 of them but you can also buy um those cute little clips they're using for like chips and other stuff but these clips are great for uh hooking together projects and helping when you need more than just a, a pin or something or you want to clip together a number of papers or some fabrics and they're so cute so isn't that great? You can find three clips for a dollar uh, and they can be like a little cat or dog to make you happy as you're looking at them. And finally, I love a flannel backed tablecloth and not because I really want to keep my tables clean, although it works for that. Flannel backed tablecloth works great as a fabric wall. So uh, what I should say is it works great as a fabric uh, placement wall so you can sort of figure out how your project's going to go together. You see, when you put that up against the wall with the flannel backside sticking out, then you can put your fabrics onto it and test out maybe the way your pieces will go together for a small quilted project, or you can sort of put together fabrics and see how they'll look together with one another and have them up vertically so that you can really take a good look at it before you put together the arrangement of whatever item you're working on. Well, that shows you some really amazing projects that you can do with items from the dollar store. And who would have thought that Dollar Tree with all these $1 items could really help your sewing and crafting that much? I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, a like, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye for now. Okay, what do I wanna play with first?